Hi, um, I'm Tade Ajibwe, and um, I'm here to talk about building real-time and collaborative games using Unity and Ashura. Um, a bit of background about me, I'm mostly a freelance indie game developer, so I've built uh, varying games for clients and some personal. Um, have, I've worked on multiplayer games, and most of the time I've had to either write a dedicated backend using Node um, to um, orchestrate like the multiplayer parts of the game or use a solution like Firebase um, sometimes. Um, but here I'm here to talk about how I built a game with Unity and Asura. And here we go. So for a bit of context, um, here is the trailer for the game. So you can kind of know what sort of features it has and what exactly I built. Um, sorry about that. Uh, okay. okay. So it's Shooter Arena. It's a, it's a shooter game, multiple two players, where one player shoots a set of. I don't know if you can hear me about the video, so I'll just wait until you're done. So yeah, um, all that fancy <laughs> grab video is just a, it's just a two-player shooter game where one player shoots a set of targets and the other player has to neutralize those targets in the same amount of time. Um, aside from that, you get your number of wins um, and losses and some stats all recorded in a global leaderboard. Um, so I built this using Unity and the backend was fully and completely Hasura's um, GraphQL engine. And I'm here to talk a bit about the experience of doing that and how it was really good. So Hasura has a, a couple of superpowers. Um, your instance GraphQL API, which is a complete API just from your data sets, um, subscriptions, which is really, really good, actions, and the general simplicity and ease of use of using Hasura with Unity are the superpowers I would say they have. So I'm going to delve into these a bit more. So the instant GraphQL API. Um, if you're not very familiar with building um, writing backend um, using whatever language you use, maybe Node, and whatever framework you use, maybe Node or Ruby on Rails, it's it's pretty daunting. If you want to create something that has a dedicated backend, you have to learn an entire field of technology separate from your normal Unity um, field. But with Hashira, it removes a lot of the the complexities. And makes it very straightforward. So you can create a database of users. Let's say you're creating an item game, um, a card game. You can create users, items, cards, and give them different fields. So your users can have an ID, a username, their level, their experience. Um, items can have names, the effects they have. And you can have all of these and save them in data types ranging from string, float, to more complex um, spatial data. And Azura automatically generates an API for you to communicate with, with your clients, with your Unity clients. So for example, if I create a, for Shooter Arena, I, I created a user object um, and a battle, battle object where the battle object contains all the data about the battle, data like how long it takes for the shooter to shoot the targets or where the targets are, all of that data. And it was easy for me to query and get that information from the backend because of the instant GraphQL API. Uh, it also takes care of things like authorization, um, authentication, ordering your data, sorting it. It really is very flexible and you get all that functionality automatically. All you have to do is create the data and you can communicate with that data from your Unity client. Um, it's really amazing, if I'm being honest. Um, so simplicity and easy to use. Uh, so Hashira has a simple um, interface uh, where to create your data is very straightforward. You create a table, add the columns and put their data types, their default values. Um, there's a Unity client for GraphQL. So Hashira, I'm, I'm not going to explain much about Graph, like differences between GraphQL and REST, but I'm assuming other talks would have touched that. But um, using GraphQL and Unity was not very straightforward, but then there's a client for that now that makes it significantly easier. 
uh, Humphrey Bragg, I built the client side, <laughs> and it's significantly easier. Um, but you can easily create queries, mutation subscriptions with the Unity client. It has a custom editor where you just click create field and just it's very easy. You can read documentation, it's a straightforward. Um, they have a lot of tutorials. Uh, there's a dedicated Unity tutorial that is pretty comprehensive and should really get you started on building multiplayer games with Unity and Azure. And there's the Graphite your which allows you to already create the queries using your data set without having to think. So basically, it, Azure does a lot for you where you don't have to think of much of what's going on behind the scenes and you can easily just interface it with Unity to create a multiplayer game. Um, the Shooter Arena game I showed you was built, so it was the first time I was using Azure with Unity mm -hmm. and I built it in less than two months um, to show just how easy it is to prototype full-on real-time multiplayer games. Um, the next superpower is, is subscriptions. Um, subscriptions are where you can subscribe to a table and any change that, tip, that happens on that table, you get the change on your clients automatically without having to ask it for it. Um, this really helps in multiplayer games, in real-time multiplayer games, because you can't continuously query your, your um, servers, so it automatically sends you whatever changes. Um, if you see the QGIF I drew, um, so I drew all the GIFs for this, uh, just saying. Uh, if you see the QGIF I drew on the laptop on the left, the logo moves. So let's say a user moves it, immediately that data is sent to your Hashira engine and that automatically notifies the other clients and you can now make it there. So it just shows how you can get real-time gameplay using Hashira and Unity. It's very straightforward with the Unity client. You can just subscribe to any table. You can subscribe to a table of objects, and then if someone changes their username, you get the notification that they changed their username, and you can do what you want with that information. Next up is actions, and actions basically allows you to do to have custom logic in your backend. So although Hasura is already very flexible, um, it's it's super flexible. You can get data, manipulate data. Um, straightforwardly, but you might have some extra things you need to do. You might be need to use your backend to query a third party service to get whatever information or authenticate whatever thing before getting to your main client in your game. So um, Azure Actions helps with that. Um, an example of when I use action and actions with Twitter Arena was the ending. So I didn't want a situation where the client that the user when it's done playing the game, it notifies the server to increase this amount of wins by one if they win, because that can easily be cheated. You can cheat it and just increase your wins multitude. So what that does is immediately you send a battle complete query. It Azure then contacts a small JavaScript script I wrote, and that takes out the battle information and decides the winner, and that script contacts Azure back and update your wins and losses um, accordingly. So Actions allows you to have custom logic and ties it very tightly with your Azure backend so that you can do way more than you could do. So it really helps when um, creating games um, because if you want to do something more than just getting data and manipulating data, if you have some custom logic, um, you can also do that with Azure and Unity. Yeah, it's still pretty straightforward. Um, so yeah, um, when I built you kind of, um, and I saw like the capabilities of Azure and Unity, it opened my mind to the kind of the possibilities of games you can create. Um, I put three here. Um, they are some of my favorite games. Um, and a game like Yu-Gi-Oh, which is a card game, can actually be created using just Unity and Azure as a dedicated backend. Yeah, for each battle, you would have you can have all the cards stored in your database. You can get cards by different types, you can order it. Um, Pokemon 2 um, is a game that if you want to have, if you want to create like a multiplayer Pokemon game or Pokemon style game, you can do it simply using Unity and Azure because you can store all the different um, Pokemon or different moves or the different abilities um, in your database. You can subscribe to a battle and whatever, since it's turn based, it doesn't, have, it's not frame dependent um, real time. It, the possibilities are endless, um, and I think Azure really opens up how, how easy it is to 
create multiplayer games because that is kind of daunting. I've worked with, because um, I can write um, backend, I've had to open node and write really long code to basically get what I could have done in two minutes with Hashira. So um, using Hashira Unity is uh, significantly easier. And yeah, that's, that's my talk. Um, thank you for listening and yeah.